In today's video, we're going to be talking about how the American Silver Eagle has been the foundation of my stack of silver for the last couple of years due to how recognizable, trusted, respected, and desired it is around the world. But if I had to start completely over, if I had to start from scratch, would the Silver Eagle still be the priority for me? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about stacking silver. And if I had to start over, would the Silver Eagle still be the foundation of my stack? We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Monday, April 12th, 2021. It is currently 48 degrees outside and it's raining. So it's kind of cold out here, but I want to enjoy the fresh air anyway. So in case you hear any rain in the background or some cars driving past, that would be exactly why. Today, I wanted to talk about if I had to start from scratch, go all the way back to a brand new day one, would I still be primarily focusing on the Silver Eagle? And by the way, being that it's Monday, the markets are finally opened back up. So in case anybody was wondering, the spot price of silver as I'm recording the video is $24.81. And the spot price of gold as I'm recording the video is $1,731.10. And 10 cents. Of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching it. Head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. So today I wanted to talk about if I had to start over, if I had to restart my silver stacking journey, would I primarily focus on the Silver Eagle? Would that be the base of my stack? Would that be the foundation of my stack? Now, what inspired today's video was actually a question that I had received in the comment section of yesterday's video coming from Cozy App. Thank you very much for the question. I look forward to answering it throughout the course of the video. If anybody else watching right now has a question for me and you'd like a whole video as a response, head on down to the comments and ask away. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know that I was talking about the Type 2 American Silver Eagles, the 2021 second half of the year, new design silver and gold American Eagles. And I was talking about how if I had to guess, I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and assume that when the new silver Eagles are officially launched, the premiums are probably going to be pretty up there because in my opinion, unfortunately, there's really no reason to lower the premiums because the stacking demand is still there. If people are willing to pay, Companies can charge whatever in the world they want. And that's what inspired the question that was left in the comments of yesterday's video, which I will be answering today. So the short answer to the question, if I had to start from scratch, would I prioritize the Silver Eagle? The short answer is no, absolutely not. The longer answer will be the whole rest of today's video. So let me get started. When I first started stacking silver at the very end of 2017, I was going after nothing but silver rounds. A couple months down the road, I like to say that I graduated on to coins rather than rounds, and my coin of choice was the American Silver Eagle. At the time, spot price was only in the teens. I believe it was like maybe, I don't know, about 16 bucks at the time. Premiums on Silver Eagles were only like $1.75 to $2, maybe somewhere within that range. And the premiums made sense. The spot price was what I considered to be potentially the opportunity of a lifetime. And I switched on over to Silver Eagles away from Silver Rounds. Now between the two, a Silver Eagle and a Silver Round, there's really no difference. The only difference is one's a coin, one is a round. Now rounds typically carry a little bit lower of a premium. A lot of them are just basic generic secondary market pieces of silver in a circular shape. A coin, on the other hand, is government-minted, government-backed, has face value, a much higher level of notoriety, it's much more recognizable, it's trusted, respected, desired everywhere. Not to mention, the Silver Eagle is the number one most recognizable and sought-after pure silver, one-troy ounce coin on planet Earth. And at the time, I could get those 
for a ridiculously low premium when spot price was only in the teens? I was walking away with each and every Silver Eagle for $20 or less for about two, maybe two and a half years. Then when March of 2020 happened, I decided, made an executive decision, that the Silver Eagle was no longer going to be the priority, at least until the premiums come back down, because fact of the matter is, silver is silver. So in the beginning of 2020, when the premiums on silver in general went way up, but the premiums on Silver Eagles went way, 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 way up, I took a step away. I decided no more Silver Eagles for me, at least for the foreseeable future. It doesn't really matter to me that much. No big deal. I'll just start stacking the Silver Maple or the Britannia or the Philharmonic or almost any other pure silver, one troy ounce coin, or maybe I'll go back to the generic silver, the rounds and the bars, or I'll just stick with 90%. There's plenty of ways to get your hands on silver. That's what I said to myself in March of 2020 when this whole fiasco got started. So I haven't picked up one Silver Eagle since. Now when the new ones are released, I would like to get a few. I would like to pick up one, two, maybe three of them. I'm not gonna go crazy. Like I said, I'm kind of under the assumption that the premiums are probably gonna be pretty up there. I'll bite the bullet. I'll make an exception. I go for low premium silver, or lowest possible premium silver, I should say. But when the new ones are released, I will absolutely make an exception, regardless of what the premiums are, just because I know I can get some pretty fun and interesting videos out of it, and plus, I kind of want to see one in person. I don't really like the sketch, but who knows? Maybe I'll have a different opinion when I'm holding it in my hand. But if I had to start over today... April 12th, 2021, I would absolutely not go for the Silver Eagles. The premiums are just at a point where I just don't believe they make sense. Now, they might make sense to you. You might find that the Silver Eagle premiums are relatively fair, or maybe they're a little bit up there, but you're willing to tolerate them anyway, and you're going to stack the Silver Eagle regardless. If that's your choice, that's your choice. There's really no right and wrong answer. I remember a lot of people asked me, a lot of people questioned earlier in 2020, why would I step away from the Silver Eagle if I believe it's the most recognizable pure silver one troy ounce coin on the planet? And my response was always, I still believe it's the most recognizable pure silver one troy ounce coin on the planet. I'm just going to prioritize stacking silver for weight, not necessarily its ability to be recognized because if you have, I don't know, a 10 ounce bar or a kilo bar, 50 ounce, 100 ounce bar, you can always test it. You can always prove to somebody that it's real. Or if you have other coins, rounds and bars out there that have security features or anti-counterfeit technology, there's always a way of proving its authenticity. And that's when I started to focus a little bit more on sunshine rounds, sunshine bars, buffalo rounds, Maple Leafs, the brand new Britannias. Number one, they're beautiful. They were always beautiful. But the new 2021 look, that new wavy background with the security feature. Oh man, I just can't get enough of the new 2021 Britannias. I love those things. But I said to myself, I was like, well, what's the point of stacking the Silver Eagle if the premium just doesn't really make sense to me? So if I had to start over today, I would do exactly what I've been doing since... March of 2020, I would be prioritizing getting my hands on anything I could possibly get my hands on for the lowest possible premium. In my opinion, that's what it's all about. Now, that might sound pretty weird considering that pre-2020, I was so hyper-focused on the Silver Eagle, but it's important to remember, or maybe you got started stacking after the fact, so it's important to understand that pre-2020, the Silver Eagle was a low premium coin. The Silver Eagle were cheaper than Krugerrands. The Silver Eagle, cheaper than Libertads. Cheaper than Philharmonics. I think the only pure silver one troy ounce coin that had a smaller price tag than the Silver Eagle was the Silver Maple, and it wasn't a whole lot cheaper. It was only cheaper by, I don't know, maybe 10, 15, 20 cents. Barely a difference. 
Now, by the way, the Krugerrands, the Philharmonics, the Britannias, they weren't too much more pricey in comparison to the Silver Eagle. I'm just saying, the Silver Eagle was like one of the lowest possible premium silver coins you could have gotten your hands on back then. Times have changed. A lot has changed. Everything got flipped upside down. Everything is backwards. Nothing makes sense anymore. But if I had to start from scratch, I would do exactly what I did in 2020. When I said to myself, okay, now's the time to focus on that 90%. Now's the time to focus on some more 10-ounce silver bars if I can get my hands on them for a low premium. Now's the time to focus on the buffalo rounds and the sunshine rounds and really anything with a relatively low premium. Anything with the lowest possible premium or focus a little bit more on gold because that's something in addition to lower premium silver coins, rounds, and bars I began to focus on last year. Now, I was always stacking gold. Not very much at all. I got started stacking gold the very beginning of 2018, maybe two or three months after I started stacking silver. I just got a little piece of gold, and I was picking up gold very, very infrequently. Nowadays, of course, the spot price of gold is way higher than silver. I mean, silver is only $24.81. Spot price of gold right now is over $1,700, $1,731. Of course, spot price is way higher than the spot price of silver. But the premiums on gold make far more sense than the premiums on silver right now. So again, if I had to start completely from scratch, I would do exactly what I started to do last year. I would begin diversifying right off the bat. I would be going for the 90% silver. I'd be going for the constitutional quarters, dimes, and half dollars, any of them that I could get my hands on. If it came down to it, I wouldn't be against stacking 40% silver. Now, I don't typically go for 40% silver. It takes up a whole lot more room than 90% silver does. But for the sake of low premiums, I would be very open-minded to it because you can always trade the 40% up for 90% if you have somebody that wants your 40% more than they want their 90%. You can always make a simple, easy conversion. Or you could trade it up for pure silver if you wanted to. Or if you had enough 40% silver, you could maybe even trade it for some gold. Depending on if the person on the other end wants what you have more than what they have. But at the end of the day, silver is silver. So whether it's 40%, 90%, three nines or four nines, fine. It really doesn't matter as long as it all equates to a troy ounce or five troy ounces or 10 troy ounces or whatever the case may be. As long as it weighs what it's supposed to weigh, it's silver, therefore who cares? That would be my attitude if I had to start from scratch. That's what I would say. That's what I would do. And funny enough, that's exactly what I've been doing consistently for the last year. In fact, I'm getting as much 90% as I can. I know I said that I would go after generic still for any chance that I got. But these last couple of months, it's been, I believe, nothing but 90%. And I'm getting as much silver as I can from the local coin shop whenever I have the ability to do so. I visit the local coin shop get some satisfaction out of supporting a small business. Nothing makes me happier than supporting small businesses. I'm also supporting my financial future by acquiring a little bit more money in exchange for my currency. Because what are we doing after all? We go to work every day. I mean, I'm about to be on my way to work right now. On our way to work to trade our time, our most valuable asset. More valuable than your silver and gold, by the way. You trade your time for dollar bills, fiat glorified IOU debt notes for your most valuable asset. So what I like to do is I like to take those fiat currency glorified IOU debt notes and I like to trade them for real, true, honest money. Internationally recognizes money, constitutionally recognizes money, biblically recognizes money, real, true, honest money. And in a very strange way, It almost makes me feel like I'm slowly but surely buying my time back. That's not exactly what we're doing. 
but it's the closest I believe we could ever get to buying our time back. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Many of you have been stacking for a couple months, maybe a couple years, maybe even a couple decades. Some of you, maybe you just got started stacking within the last couple of days, weeks, or the last month or so. Maybe you just got started stacking this year. Regardless of when you got started stacking, I want everybody to head on down to the comments and let me know, if you had to start from scratch, what would your priority be? Would you focus a little bit more on collecting coins, maybe higher premium collectible pieces, coins, rounds, or bars? Would you focus on the ability to be recognized, government-minted, sought-after, trusted coins from a variety of different countries? It doesn't necessarily matter where it's from. But would you focus on the pieces that are most recognizable? Or would you say pretty much what I've been saying over the last year? Screw that. I'm going for the weight. I'm going for as much physical silver content as I could possibly get my hands on. Even if that means to begin stacking 40% silver, even if that means to begin stacking larger denomination pieces of silver that I'm personally not really that big of a fan of, such as kilo bars and up, they're excellent, by the way. They're silver. I love all silver. I've just always said that I would rather not put my dollars into just one big piece of metal. I'd rather have it in multiple smaller pieces. But once again, I'm open-minded. I'll go for the kilo bars. I'll go for the 50-ounce bars. I'll go for the 40% silver half dollars. Now is not the time to be picky. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and what you would do if you had to restart your journey of stacking the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Or you can hit the subscribe button like a Karen hits another Karen. Even if she lies and tells you her name isn't Karen. My name is not Karen. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. One about silver, one about gold, one about the Suez Canal, one about the credit card crackdown, and one about the tech stock sell-off we've been seeing over the last couple of weeks. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, once again, if you had to start completely over a brand new day one of stacking silver, what would your priority be? If the Silver Eagle is or was the foundation of your stack, the base of your stack, your number one coin of choice, is it still your number one coin of choice? Or did you shift your focus a little bit and maybe take a step away from the more recognizable silver coins 
due to the higher premiums and you're just stacking for weight at this point, head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.